Hey guys, this is Jordan back with the M News. Uh, here to do my review of the Battle of the Five Armies, the last Hobbit uh, chapter, and uh, really the last chapter of Middle Earth. Uh, this movie does star uh, Martin Freeman as Bilbo Baggins, Ian McKellen as uh, Gandalf the Grey, as we all know, uh, Richard Armitage as uh, Thorn Oakenshield, and uh, you know Lee Pace as uh, Thranduil, uh, the Elf King. Uh, Luke Evans as Bard the Bowman, uh, Orlando Bloom as uh, Legolas, uh, Evangeline Lilly as uh, Tariel, the She-Elf, uh, and uh, Manu Bennett as Azog, uh, and so on. Uh, you know, this movie, uh, going into it, I was thinking it was going to be a big CGI fest, and, uh, you know, uh, and if, if you know me, you know I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of uh, the Middle Earth franchise and uh, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. I'm a huge fan of all of them, and I... Clearly enjoy them all. I actually have given uh, the Desolation of Smaug an A plus. I given uh, the Hobbit. Uh, at first they gave it an A plus, but then I brought it down to an A, knowing uh, knowing it has kind of grown on me. Uh, but I still love the movies. I still love them all. Uh, no matter what, I can watch them just any day. I, I love them. They're really some of my favorite movies of all time. And uh, going into this, I was like, you know, this is gonna be the final chapter. I'm gonna give it. I'm just gonna have a lot of fun, open minded. Let's see what I get. And I gotta say, guys, I loved this movie. I I, I know it has its problems. I know it's it's. It, but I I went into it, and I I gotta say, I had a blast. Uh, that's why I go into movies for. I like to have blasts, and I had a blast watching the Battle of the Five Armies. You know, uh, I think the things that I'm gonna start with, uh, the things I did not like. Uh, you know, there's a couple of, uh, they try to, uh, pull off some relationships in the movie between, like, uh, Tariel and, uh, Keely, uh, the dwarf, and, uh, you know, uh, it wasn't a bad little thing that they did, but, uh, you know, it really didn't pull off in the end for me. It really, uh, kind of just, you know, it was like, all right, you know, I'm okay, man, it's done. Cool. Uh, that's how I felt about that little relationship. Not nothing really spectacular or nothing, you know. Uh, not like uh, the relationship between uh, Aragorn and uh, what is her name? You know the Lord of the Rings uh, relationship, that one. Yeah, <sighs> forgot the name. Uh, but anyway, you know you got okay. Here's the here's the basic plot about this movie. You've got Thorin Oakenshield who does get back the mountain and uh, he has all this gold to himself and uh, you know he doesn't really want to give it up and he's really greedy. And, uh, you know, he's made a lot of promises, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, keepsake, you know, uh, you're gonna get paid, don't worry. And, uh, you know, in the end, he gets bitten on the butt because he gets too greedy and he doesn't want to get rid of it. And all these people who are, were promised his promise did not get what they were asked and, uh, get what they were told they were gonna get. And now they're all mad and pissed off, so now they're building up these armies to go after him and... And uh, that's where the Battle of the Mountain begins. And, uh, you know, all these orcs, men, elves get together. Not really get together, but now they're all fighting against each other for this mountain that has... That's either going to be a really good fortress to use in wars, or it's going to be just take all the gold and leave. And either way, Thorin Oakenshield does not want to give it up. So now he's, uh, he's, fighting, he's fighting for it, and he's not going to give it up. So that's the basic plot about this uh, movie, and you know, going into it, I was like, you know what, it, I, I understand, I'm a, I'm a fan of the book, and you know, there's going to be emotional hits in this movie that I thought that were going to nail me, but being a, being a book fan and, you know, knowing what's going to happen, I really did not get the emotional pulls I guess I wanted to. I still got I still got sad. Don't worry because you know it's the last Middle Earth movie and it's it, it's it's not just sad. There was a lot of good emotional turns in this movie, and uh, you know a lot of things happened that I wasn't expecting how it was going to turn down. I mean out and uh, really came out really well. Uh, but yeah, there is some problems with this movie. Yes, there's some CGI moments where you look at it and it's like oh well it looks like a video game. You know I I understand that and I saw some of it. And I understand where you guys were coming from, but in the end I think you can't have a fun time with this movie. And I'm going to give the Battle of the Five Armies an A. I'm not going to give it an A+, you know, there's problems, but it's it's a well send-off from the Middle Earth franchise and uh, really well done direction by Peter Jackson. So guys, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts on the Battle of the Five Armies are. Uh, yeah, I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about this movie. I, I gotta say, it, it was the most anticipated movie for me, and I did turn out to love it a lot, and I, I can't wait, you know, for more uh, big epic franchises to start hitting home. Because I really, really am going to miss this franchise so much. And I don't think that any, any of them are going to beat Any new franchise is going to beat it for me. Uh, I love the Battle of the Five Armies, guys. And I will comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And, guys, thanks for watching.